Okay. So, I think this is ridiculous. I mean, like, I understand the guy was, like, intoxicated. Um, I guess this is more reason not to do stupid crap like that. You know what, I think people should be held responsible for what they do when they're drunk. Uh, just as much, because you didn't have to get that effed up. You know what I mean? Like, you could have been responsible in your drinking, and no one should be taking, um, you know, you need to take responsibility for what you do to your body. It's still you. But, yeah. <sighs> okay. Guys hitting girls. Um, I've talked about this subject very much. Um, okay, so I think there are two things about it that need to be understood, okay? First of all, I'm not with any concepts like chivalry um, or over-glorifying females because I know some people do that. Um, I think that, like, the whole respecting females, I'm all for that. But on the other end, I don't like the idea of giving women the weak role, the role of being someone who's weak and fragile. Like you were saying, Chris, um, about women being fragile, that's not always true, you know. So I don't think it's fair to give women that stereotype of, you know, the weak, fragile woman that is always so innocent, you know, like that. I have a problem with that. But, um, you know what? Anyone who hits someone weaker than them, um, is, like, at all, you know, is just a freaking wimp. Unless they try to attack you. Anyone who just attacks somebody, though, that's weaker than them, like, preys on the weak, that's like... That just shows how weak you are mentally. That just shows how, like, pitiful you are. Um, how much of a coward you are if you have to attack people smaller than you. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care about gender. I just care about, like, if you have to attack people smaller than you. But um, let me tell you my philosophy on this is um, I'll defend myself when I have to. but And I'll defend people I love when I have to, no matter what. And, um, while I don't believe in hitting people back, no matter the circumstance, if you can dish it out, you can take it, okay? So, but that's my opinion on, like, if some girl were to come up and, like, punch me in the face, um, would I punch her back? Probably. One, because I just got punched in the face, what do you expect me to do, you know? And two, because if you can dish it out, you can take it. From anyone, if you can dish it out to someone, your same um, same level of strength, and you get beaten up by someone bigger than you, I have no pity because you you go around attacking people. So, anyone who attacks somebody deserves to get probably hit back. Not saying that anyone deserves to get hit at all, but like, if you attack somebody, if you can dish it out, you can take it. Um. But even just violence itself is cowardice in most cases. Um, it truly is. On either side, uh, just to handle the situation with violence just shows a lack of intelligence. Obviously, he lacked intelligence because he was drunk. But, um, yeah, um, I think, of course, he was. Now, I don't think that. Um, my problem is when it's like considered worse because it's a female. Maybe it should be considered worse because they're in a weak position, but not for the simple fact of their genitalia. I think there's a big difference um, between if someone, if you're attacking someone weaker or if you're attacking someone with a different genitalia. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, but hitting girls, I don't think that it's cool. I don't think it's cool to hit anyone. And how about in the relationship sense? If a guy were to beat his girlfriend, um, God, okay, if you are a guy, and you have ever, ever hit your girl, like, I don't mean, like, a joking, like, you know, hey, you know, like, yeah, obviously, there's a difference, um, between hitting someone in a joking way, and, like, actually attacking someone, um, but, but girls, I don't think it's cool when you go around hitting guys, because they do something you don't like, um, you know, if some guy hits you back, you can't complain when when you do that. Like, I'm sorry, but if you're going to go around, like, thinking, ah, 
and like just because some guy does something you don't like or slapping him across the face if you get hit back i have no sympathy for you i'm sorry i don't um it's not because i think hitting girls is okay but if girls are gonna walk around thinking they can just hit people anyone walk around thinking they can hit people and then they get hit back and start whining and crying about it i have no sympathy i'm sorry i don't um that goes for anyone hitting anyone else. Um, obviously, little kids are slightly an are like an exception, um, but that's simply because of you know the brain, how their smaller brain hasn't developed as much, um, and of course they are physically weaker to a very um, extreme degree. But it's also like how they could be more traumatized by it, etc. But, um, yeah, but in the situation of like, okay, if some girl cheats on you, that doesn't mean you can hit her, okay? You don't hit her if she cheats on you, you leave her. Because if, if she hurts you mentally, just get out of it, come on, man. You don't have to make something else out of it. And that's girls, too. You don't need to, like... I mean, not that you would attack a guy for cheating on you, per se. But... Just leave him. Don't get all... You know, don't get all mad and, like, yell at him. Just get out of... I mean, you can get mad and yell at him all you want. But get out of there. You know, if someone cheats on you, just get out. If someone wrongs you, get out of the situation. Nothing should be handled with violence if it doesn't have to be. But, um... Yeah. Guys who abuse girls are sick. And... Yeah. That doesn't mean we should victimize all females. Even if they get hit by a male. Because there are situations where they deserve it. But in situations of abuse and all that crap... Um... It's messed up, man. But it's on the girls, too, too, you know? If some guy is abuses you, you know what you do? You get contact with the cops, and you leave that asshole. Um, you know, if you're going to stay with someone who's abusing you, obviously means you don't have either. You, I'm not going to say you don't have much respect for yourself. You're not showing much respect for yourself. Let's put it that way. Um, so yeah, if anybody disagrees with anything I say, tell me, tell me why. I mean, I'm not perfect at making videos, and I understand some of my opinions are controversial because of this whole chivalry in today's society, and, you know, a lot of the things I'm talking about, while they may seem logical, uh, many people were raised to believe differently. Um, uh, just let me be clear, though, I wouldn't, um, hit anybody unless they tried to severely hurt me or somebody I loved. Um, I just defend what I have to. You understand what I mean? Like, I'll just defend when I have to. But I'll always try to handle a situation nonviolently if I can. I'm not perfect. But I'll never... Let's put it this way. I'm not the type to throw the first, first blow. Um, I couldn't. And I wouldn't. So, Spike here, peace out.